Today I can announce that WA will ease its hard border arrangements at 12.01am Saturday the 5th of February. This date is locked in, giving Western Australians and local businesses certainty and the ability to plan and be ready for the transition early next year. With a vaccination rate of 90% and reasonable, reasonable public health measures, the health advice is clear. We can safely ease our border controls and reconnect WA. I'm confident that this is the right time and the right way to take this important step. So firstly, with regards to international arrivals. They will still be required to return a negative PCR test result within 72 hours prior to departure and undertake a PCR test within 48 hours of arrival in Perth and on day six. But if they are double vaccinated, there will be no requirement for quarantine. Unvaccinated or those who have not had an approved vaccine will still be required to undertake 14 days of quarantine whether in a hotel or at the designated Commonwealth facility when it comes online. And there will be a cap on the unvaccinated, one that is significantly lower than the cap now in place for international arrivals. It should also note that any international border arrangements after the transition date will of course be subject to the Commonwealth Government's biosecurity settings. Secondly, domestic arrivals. All domestic arrivals into WA must be double vaccinated unless ineligible or medically exempt. I repeat, all domestic arrivals must be double vaccinated. For travel, proof of vaccination requirements will, will apply for anyone aged 12 and over. We'll also have testing requirements for those arriving into WA based on the length of the trip. If your trip into WA is for six days or more, you must receive a negative PCR test within 72 hours of departure and undertake a PCR test within 48 hours of arrival into WA. If your trip into WA is for five days or less, you must receive a negative PCR test result within 72 hours of departure, but you will not be required to undertake any tests on arrival in WA. And if you are in Western Australia, leaving the state and returning within five days or less, for example, going to Melbourne for the weekend, you will not need to undertake a test before returning to WA, but you will need to undertake a PCR test within 48 hours of arrival once you are back in WA. This information and clear charts will be available online soon that detail all of the requirements.